Hello, welcome to Skulls Production. Now I am with you with a new tutorial. Uh, a friend has demanded me to make this uh, image on in Photoshop. Uh, I'm just making it in Photoshop. No, but the next time I should make an Illustrator and do Coral Draw as well. So now I'm just uh, starting the work with the <coughs> Photoshop. Now what is the image now? Let us see now. I'm just putting the image in Photoshop and place and going to the store the images let me make here this is the image see our sample image uh, the money to make here <coughs> sorry for this now with the very first I'm just gonna make this one okay 90% <coughs> sorry I'm just gonna select the ellipse tool here from here and I'm just eliminate and un, uh, uh, select this uh, uh, fill tool the the, 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 the ellipse will be empty and just select the outline the outline must be of seven points I'm just selecting I'm just gonna select this color with the very first sorry uh, here is the color this will be the color I think so now I'm making uh, an ellipse here like this mm. uh, pressing by sh pressing sh shift shift button I'm making this uh, 0.7 this is the color what I'm gonna do next uh, I have this circle right now I can make bigger smaller whatever I want to <coughs> but I, I shall use this one on this one I shall not change that color now what I'm gonna do I need this this overlap this area it should be over this area should be overlap and this one is empty like this so what I'm gonna do I'm just making another um, copy of this layer just going press ctrl J or just click on here and duplicate layer now getting layer ellipse 2 okay I'm just going to name is change it's okay now I'm just gonna change the color from the properties you can use the properties in CC Adobe CC <coughs> here's the property and uh, we're now I'm going to this tool, now this tool, and and just click here. Sorry, here, and here, and here, and here. Why is not doing this? Spat shape. Okay. I'm gonna select this color from here, like this. Here you can see there still the same colors here. What I'm gonna do? There are two now. I'm just gonna select this area by mm, to uh, from by this last tool and what I'm gonna do uh, watch carefully uh, this area here like this now I'm just selecting all that circle from here I need look at this here now this is a very easy way to make this now I'm, I'm just selecting this whole whole this one. I'm just gonna click here, and then I'm just gonna mask it. Look at this. You can see this. This is a 90% one. Okay. Uh, I can change the color a little more lighter. Uh, so to be like this here. Look at this. Now we have mm, our desired color ellipse tools here and now I'm gonna group these two uh, cl clicking and control G now this is a group what I'm gonna do now clicking this one or the and I'll just wanna see the what's this next I'm just clicking this one and uh, by shift cl cl clicking all button and alt button on this group this is a uh, 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 blue blue color here here's a, here you can see that I'm just make a tool I call this pink and this pink color this this is the pink one what I'm going to do I'm going inside this and I'm just deleting this mask from here and the mask is deleted you can see that now the color should be changed what I'm going to do with the very first I'm going to go here like select this color from here and they're gonna here and change the color from uh, adding the swatch here new swatch here yes pink mm. Selected. This here. This is the color. 
pink color now you can see there's a pink color what I'm gonna do again I'm just gonna lasso tool and selecting this area like this look at this now this time I shall leave the more more face to be overlapped uh, now I'm gonna select the mask now look at this this is now same like this now this is a uh, pink group now what I'm gonna do just control J and making what I'm gonna do this this is blue and this is a green just naming this green to uh, uh, why I'm renaming this layers to be remember la uh, later <coughs> what what did we work on now I'm just gonna uh, bring it here like this and I'm just gonna select this color from here uh, as same as I did before I'm just gonna in green copy green 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 what's right sorry, green it's narrow sorry I'm just gonna here and I'm just ungroup this one and just delete the mask again from here and uh, I was gonna delete the mask that uh, the layer uh, okay now the mask is now I'm gonna select the mm, select this else tool again and going to that one and I'm just clicking on this and you can see that this is the color here again what I'm gonna do again I'm gonna uh, select the loss tool again now this time I shall leave more than more area for the overlap to show that this is a 70 percent but I'm gonna do to make a mask from here and uh, uh, we have the third circle here you can see that this is already now what I'm uh, what the last the next one I'm gonna select the color from here pick tool mm, and you have the color up you can see that what I'm gonna do next and I'm just gonna duplicate the layer again and just rename the layer uh, to orange one this is the orange one uh, orange I'm just bringing it here like this and this is 185 you want uh, you want to light it you want to show that this would be 85 now I'm gonna open this one and delete this mask again and just I am what I'm gonna do next I'm gonna select the ellipse tool again from here and I'm gonna change the color to orange here look at this now we're the gonna loss of tool just like the loss of tool now here I am I'm gonna show this to 85 this is the 85 and uh, person and clicking this and just go to make a mask again and here you can see the so sorry i think i did something wrong with that or something is missing here don't know what is happening uh, where is the ellipse tool i think i didn't make the mask or both of this now i just remember this is forgot about this now this is complete now so the color should be changed I, I forgot to change the color again and then go to change the again color and select the color from here and now now this is our ellipse area this is ready and now you can we can now uh, select these all together and bring them to the center and uh, what I'm gonna do next to uh, just making them little little farther to each other make them this more distance to and just I'm gonna select them again together and uh, select this to make them distribute <coughs> correctly and precisely now what I'm gonna write here something uh, some text like this what I'm gonna I'm gonna write 90 percent here 90 percent and uh, I'm just gonna select the, the the font look like this one mm, not uh, really if, if I know the, the name of the font and I if the font is available in my PC then I can write it otherwise there's no issue for that about that and you can write the font uh, I use open sans small one uh, smart one here the simple over, over and this uh, a little similar to this one uh, I've told you that it is not necessary and the color should be black I think so and black color should be here or a little gray grayish color you can show here like that part okay. and you can use a uh, regular as well this is like a better now this is 75 this is per uh, and this is 70 version is 85 now look at this oh, when I select this uh, sorry uh, I think selecting this oh, sorry I should make bring them down so I can select this I write it 75 by double clicking you can 
you can edit this one by clicking here and you will click double on the T and you will get the editing error editing mode and it's 70 percent here and what I'm gonna do to the next one I'm just coming here and writing it 85 percent now look at this our other other area is ready as well now what I'm gonna do now uh, I'm just uh, selecting this uh, this one and bring this by selecting alt button or then it is double now uh, you will get the copy of this now you can change this to web design sorry web it will be a uh, cap lock G -E -F -I -G -N. web design here you are now I'm just gonna make it a little I shall choose another font for quicksand I'm gonna use uh, quicksand would be normal uh, book sample bold bold should be better no it's not looking good uh, enough Arial I should use Arial one um, just to show this is okay now I'm just doing this here and uh, we're going to blue and blue 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 here I can make it center here like this now what I'm going to do here is one is two and here's three sorry it's three by selecting alt button you can make a copy of the object or any any layer you want to add now you can double click on the text and you can write it here html slash css now oh, by selecting this one we're gonna double clicking on this g-r-a-b-h-i-c-s graphic design here you can see that now us and ui design right here ui sorry ui and ui now you can see that uh, the desired image is ready to us for us now you can choose all the layers control alt a for control alt a and you can select all them together uh, by the uh, selecting here uh, and just you can group this to like this and by mm, pressing control click on the zero layer so but you can see that you can make it center from the line tools now this is the this is ready now i uh, hope you like this tutorial uh, on photoshop and hope you will like uh, and you can promote my page uh, thanks for watching